All right, guys, what's going on? So, um, as the title indicates, I've got uh, Abyss init Initial Completion Rewards. I've got a new Rank 3 6 star, but first, um, a short story. So, um, if anybody follows me on Twitter, you probably already know this, but um, I've been looking for Aegon for quite a while now. I've been opening, um, like, the Cavalier skill crystals every week for him. Um, but his calves came into the store, and I pulled the six star. I decided to open three. I got the six star. So then, um, after getting the six star, I obviously have no way to awaken him. Um, I don't have sig stones. I have sig stones for a five star. So it was a little bit disappointing, um, which sounds kind of weird to be disappointed by getting a six star from a cav crystal. So I decided to open three more didn't get him, and um, after that I said, okay, one more, that's it, I need to save the rest of my units. So I clicked to open one more, and I accidentally pushed it a second time, and on the very last crystal I pulled a five-star Aegon, which is insane. I was, like, super, super happy about it, um, and yeah, so... Um, I obviously have an awakening gem for this guy, and this is all I've been waiting for. I have everybody else that I need. I have, a, like, a tiny bit of setup that I need to do at this point, um, like awakening and rank fiving. Um, Aegon is the first thing on the priority list. So there's the screenshot that I shared on uh, Twitter, and yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty awesome. So... Okay, first thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to speed as much of this video up as humanly possible, but the very first thing that I did after pulling him as a 5 star was awakening him. So, have one skill gem. I got it last month from the side event. And then, um, these are still left over from July 4th, and also from picking up uh, just random Sig Stone offers here and there. Uh, like on Sunday, I get the Sig Stones. So you're gonna see here, um, I'm going to take him straight to Sig 200, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, that, um, that allows him to carry over 75% of his combo. If you don't have enough Sig Stones to take him to Sig 200, I think, I talked to Jay uh, Silver, he also has a YouTube channel, obviously. Um, and he's like a numbers guy, and he basically said that he thought Sig 140 was an okay spot to stop with him, um, as far as like getting value from your Sig Stones. So, I went ahead and joined. You can see here that I've got Human Torch, and he is not awakened. So, um, also these Abyss fights are really long and boring, so I didn't, um, I didn't record them. But I do have like a, um, I kept track of all of my revives if you guys are interested in knowing um, how much it costs me um, or like w which heart, which fights I found to be the most difficult. And it was basically Iron Man Infinity War and it cost me about 3,500 units. So there we go, got our first completion done. Um, I think that the collector went down in 16 or 17 revives. Again, I have it written down. Um, but yeah, so now we've got some stuff to open, which is super exciting. Um, so the, I, I already have a, a, a Mystic Awakening gem for a six star. I do not need an, another one. Um, and also I don't have any use for a Mutant Awakening gem because I already have Omega ranked up, Magneto's already awakened, so yeah, I don't have any immediate need for that. So I'm just opening up my Sig Stone Crystals, um, arguably one of the more valuable things that you get from the Abyss. Uh, this is just going to be the 5 star. Honestly, I think that for 20 more Sig Stones I would give up the 6 star shards for the initial completion. Um, just because the six star shards are coming in so quickly now. But got the five star, and it's just going to be a dupe on Darkhawk. So I have this theory 
that basically whenever like whatever class I pull from a crystal there's a decent chance that if I open a catalyst afterwards I'll get the same uh, the same class catalyst so that's kind of what I was trying to feel out here with the five star um, let's see if it worked well, I've got warlock I've got guillotine 2099 both of which I would take to rank three but we got cosmic so it didn't work out that time but um, that's okay because I also have Corvus. Um, he's not awakened. But let's see if we can get an awakening gem for him. And yeah, like I said, the only thing I don't want is Mystic and Mutant. And we got Skill. So Skill is super interesting. Um, I have, now I have Aegon. Um, not that I'm going to be using it on him. But I also have Nick Fury. So that's probably who's going to get that gem. Going to go ahead and open the two six-star crystals now. And yeah, just hoping for, for somebody good, anybody good. A dupe on somebody good would be amazing. Except for Nick Fury. <laughs> and okay, so that's going to be a Sig 40 rocket raccoon um and again it's not a huge deal now the six star shards come in so quickly that it it really doesn't matter like it would be nice to pull somebody good or to dupe somebody good but you know i get i get less upset now about the bad pulls than i used to and it would take like a month to get a six star All right and then this one's going to be a killmonger so that's actually um that's actually pretty good um, I know a lot of people like him. I don't really care for him, but I don't have him as a five star, so it's good to get a six star that you don't already have as a five star. And yeah, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, my champions really quick. Just do the owned six stars. So for skill, um, that's basically what I've got, so it's definitely, it, it needs to be Nick Fury for sure. Um, but I'm not going to awaken him until I can take him to rank 3. Um, these are the techs that I would like to rank 3 as well. But um, it's not going to work out quite yet. And then we've got Corvus, and as you can see here, Corvus is literally my only cosmic option. Um, so I went ahead and talked to um, my battle group officer, uh, Taters, and asked him what I should do, because um, it, it won't do anything for my prestige. Oh, and this was just like a celebration, Cav. Um, but yeah, it won't do anything for my prestige to rank three and undoped six star. Uh, my prestige definitely needs work. So um, I talked to him and he gave the, the go ahead pretty much. He said I could do whatever I wanted. So yeah, um, out of that cab, that's kind of cool. We got a new five star. I, I already have Elsa duped as a six star. So, you know, it's... Uh, I'm definitely going to be, I have her at rank 2 right now. I would have no issue taking her to rank 3. Maybe with my second skill catalyst she'll go up um, after I take up Nick Fury. But, yeah, so overall, um, you know, you can tell like all, like at this point, this was a couple days ago, but you can tell that literally all I'm thinking about is uh, taking Corvus up to rank 3. So, I did it, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the ISO because that's super boring, but overall, um, what I was told was um, to take up Corvus, rank 3 Nick Fury whenever I can, um, if that's who I want to take up, and then that will improve my prestige, so taking Corvus up. And then I'm going to go ahead and do a short, like, showcase, I guess. I'm going to take him into an off-season war. And to try to keep the video short, I'm not going to show you guys, um, like, the build-up. I got a tech charge. 
I got a Tech Charge off of a uh, a uh, Punisher 2099. I got a Mutant Charge off of an Emma Frost. And I'm just going to show you guys my Section 2 fights. Just to kind of show you like what his damage is like as a 6 star. And also I took a, I took a special 3 from the Punisher. And um, it didn't take very much of my health like at all. So And that was completely unboosted. So yeah, that kind of cut weird, but that was the Punisher I took. And then this is going to be Aggression Prowess and um, Power Focus 2. So you can see that right now we're hitting pretty much 9,000 mediums. Um, and again, this is completely unboosted. This would be like, I don't even know if my rank 5 Corvus at 4 charges hits this hard. I honestly can't remember. But... Um, yeah, this is at two charges, and then this fight will give us our third. And I really wanted to try to get to a special two, and I get the first part of one off. And you can see it's 17,000, 17,000, and I'm not sure what the last one would have hit for, but either way, that's a massive special two for an unduped, or I'm sorry, for a, uh, for a Corvus with two charges. That's pretty insane. And then, um, and our mediums were hitting for around like, um, 8,900. So now we've got three charges, and let's see how this fight goes. And I can tell you right now, so we got an intercept there because I wanted to make sure I'm getting the full damage. And granted, I do have a Fury here, but my mediums are hitting for over 11,000. Um, so it's pretty insane, and yeah, the fight's over. I couldn't even get to a special two. So, anyway, that's an update. That's an Abyss update. That is, um, a rank three six star update. And then, uh, the War Season's going to be starting tomorrow, so I'll make sure, uh, that I'm posting those videos. And, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a good one.